Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Practical Balance, sponsored by The Diamond Factor. I'll be your facilitator, Jackie Schwab. So what is Practical Balance? Well, Practical Balance is a show that helps to provide practical steps that allow you to regain your work-life balance, or as some people like to call it, work-life integration, so you can continue to crush it in your work, your life, and your career without neglecting yourself or the ones you love. All right, let's get at it. So today we're really gonna talk about a new tool called the M3 Managing Your Morning Madness Tool. And the purpose of this tool is to address several of these problems that you might be experiencing. One of those problems might be that you're often running late especially if you're a busy parent in the morning trying to get ready several kids trying to get them to have breakfast trying to get lunch all of those things put together getting in the car driving people dropping them off to school getting to work so if one of the problems you experience a lot is you're running late then this tool is for you or if you find yourself not having any energy and feeling like you just can't even begin to start your day or perhaps you have little to no patience with yourself your spouse, and or your small children, or your not so small children for that matter. Or maybe you don't have any focus in the morning, or perhaps it just feels like you're existing through your morning on autopilot. Well, what if I told you there's a better way and some opportunities for improving your morning? What if I told you you didn't have to feel rushed every single morning and you could have the energy that you needed to last you to your next refueling or your next meal or perhaps you had the opportunity of being a bit more patient or maybe having some more focus or last but not least maybe you are living your morning more intentionally i.e your life well, if you want those things, there's really five steps or five key secrets that we want to talk about today. And the first three are actually looking at the tool overall that we are discussing. So again, we'll go back for a second. The name of that tool is the M3 Manager Morning Madness. And it's really starting with step-by-step -step implementation of a few skills that are really going to help you begin to tame that madness that you have every single morning. Now, if you watch some of our previous episodes, episode one, which was on the clear the clutter, you may recall that we talked about the MOPA, which is your motivating factor or your why, right? Why would you want to have a better morning routine? Why would you not want to have this morning madness anymore. And if we kind of look back here at the first part of this, the problems, well, the why might not be just you have no energy, but why do you want to have more energy? Well, maybe you want more energy because not having any energy has no patience. Well, what does not having patience do? Well, perhaps not having any patience causes you to be short with your husband or your spouse or your partner. Well, what a, why do you not want to be short with them? Well, that causes your relationship strain. Why don't you want the relationship strain? Well, because you want to have a loving relationship with your spouse. So you really want to dig down for your motivating factor. And what's interesting is we often find out that these couple of small changes really are about you wanting to have a positive relationship with people that you love. So what are, the, what are the steps then? What are the key secrets? Well, one of them is definitely establishing your MOFA and that's your motivating factor. The other is remembering the principle again from episode one when we were talking about small hinges swinging big doors and that was one tiny small change at a time, incremental steps. So what are the M3 tools? Well, the first is munch. Um, that also means eat or refuel or give your body goodness. The next is movement, as in stretching or walking or uh, yoga, whatever it is that gets your body in motion, because something that stay, starts in motion stays in motion, right? And then the third M to consider is m mindfulness or meditation or whatever it is that you, perhaps it's prayer, but what you need to stay in the moment or in the current focus. Now, of course, those are the keys to success, but how do we do something with that, right? We talk about it all the time here on the Practical Balance show, but 
it has to be practical, right? What are we gonna do? What action steps are we gonna put in place so that we're actually going to do something about this morning madness? Well, the first sub topic is, to, or action plan item is to pick one of the M's, but let's look at selecting the highest impact. So if you already eat fantastically, then perhaps munching isn't the thing, right? It's not the choice of food in the morning. Perhaps it's more movement. Maybe you're not getting up and moving around. But we want to really look at either the munching, the movement, or the mindfulness and decide which of those M's we're going to start with. Because while you can do anything for 15 minutes, you should try with one thing first and one 15 minutes, right? How many of you try to start a new habit, try to start something that you get up at like four hours earlier, well, you're never going to be able to stick with it. So we want to be able to do something that we can stew in 15 minutes or less every single day in the morning before all this madness starts. So what I like to do is commit to setting my alarm for only 15 minutes earlier. We're not going to make a huge rapid change here. The first thing we're going to do is work on getting up 15 minutes earlier and doing the big M that we picked, right? If it's getting up 15 minutes earlier so you can make a smoothie, or if it's getting up 15 minutes earlier so you can stretch for only 15 minutes, if it's getting up 15 minutes earlier to walk on your treadmill for 15 minutes, but we're not making a big sweeping change here. Now, one thing that could come up, which I literally thought as I was putting this together is, well, what if one of the things you're struggling with is getting up on time, right? What if it's like, hey, I can't get up 15 minutes earlier. Then we're gonna skip the picking the biggest M and start with literally just getting up 15 minutes earlier. Um, but for now, we're gonna assume that you're able to get up 15 minutes earlier every day. And then the next thing is you're gonna schedule that same 15 minutes at that time that your alarm goes off in your calendar for the item that you've picked. So it may seem very odd, but what we calendar, what we see every day in our schedule, we are more opt to be triggered or anchored into doing. So if you decide the first thing you're going to do in the morning, getting up 15 minutes earlier is walk, then set an alarm for 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., whatever it is. And then at 7 a.m. in your calendar, also put the thing that you're going to do. And if you're still in bed, your phone will also go off in addition to your alarm. So um, that's the, the next thing to consider in your action plan. And then after that is we're going to assume that you're connecting this to your why, right? Your big mofa. In this case, like we said before, maybe getting up so you have more patience, so you're respectful to your spouse, etc. But once you start doing it every single day until it becomes a habit, we really want you to celebrate that you've done it. Um, and some people are going to do that through journaling, either at the end of that 15 minutes or at the end of the day. Uh, some people might just tell another accountability partner that they're doing it so that they can help them celebrate. Um, some of them may add the times up on every single time you do it, you leave that appointment on your calendar and you add them up at the end of the week. And if you eat, reach a certain number, you in some way reward yourself. In the same token, if you don't do it, you actually delete it off your calendar to show that you didn't do it. So a, all of those are different ways that you can consider celebrating and a reflection can be either through a journaling, through a quick note on your phone, through seeing what you got done in your calendar, whatever works best for you. Now, let's just kind of look at this if we're going to kind of use a worksheet to sort of plan out this, this action plan, right? So if we go here and we look at, uh, the first thing you might want to do is figure out which of these morning madness routines, right? Managing morning madness do you want? So first is, what will you fuel yourself with in the morning? So are you already appropriately fueling yourself, which is my the munching one, right? So if you've already doing great with fueling, then maybe that's not the one that you look at. Or what if you, are you feeling mindful? What do you need to focus on? Is that one of the areas that you want to consider? Or what movement would energize you or make you feel a little less stuck? You know, maybe you're just starting out with a little bit of yoga, or maybe you're an avid exerciser and you, what you need is to add a little bit of stretching. Whatever that is, you can use this opportunity to just write out the different brainstorming activities. And then consider what is the highest impact of all of those for you? 
Now for me personally, and as a good exercise here, I'm going to say munching. Um, I'm not always really good about choosing great fuel for myself in the morning. Um, although it's an upgrade from where I was, which was not fueling myself in the morning. So um, like this morning I did great. I had a smoothie, but I had a smoothie because my daughter doesn't like 90% of the other foods in the house and I made her a smoothie, right? But either way, what is that highest impact item? And then what's the outcome you want out of it, right? This is going back to SMART goals and from before our MOFA. But maybe the outcome is, you know, fuel or energy. So if energy, you get more energy by protein, maybe you have some eggs. If you get more energy by a little fruit, right? Some sugar in the, in the morning, then maybe it's that. Maybe you're a toast person and you like carbs. I don't care what the answer is. You are the only one that knows it. But the first thing we do is like, what are we clearly going to accomplish by munching? What munching things are we going to do? And then is it specific? Yes, I'm going to have protein. It's measurable five days out of seven. It's achievable. It's attainable. Yes, it's realistic. Yes. And it's time bound every day for, you know, for let's just say two weeks as a starting point and then I can check in. And why this outcome? Well, I'm tired as F, right? I am super tired in the morning. I'm the tired is really the thing that causes me the most stress over the other things. So that would be my particular why for this outcome. And I could dig a little farther in that. Well, why do I not want to be tired? Well, I can be a cranky puss if I'm tired. Um, why don't I want to be a cranky? Because it makes my other kids cranky and my kids get cranky because I'm cranky and then it turns into the madness, right? I'm trying to avoid the madness. And then the next thing we talk about is, or at least that I talk about is really setting an alarm, like committing to the time that you actually want to get up in the morning. Now, I know that just seems like just inconsequential, but there's something about the act, right? The act of saying, yes, I'm going to, I'm going to commit to giving myself an alarm. I'm going to set up 15 minutes early. Now it's up to you, but one of the other things that I've done with this is I've named, if you have an iPhone, um, this works, but I've named my alarm. So I'll call it um, the refueling alarm or the get up and move. Um, I might even attach the alarm to like my favorite song. So I get up with tons of energy and I'm super excited. Um, but either way, try to get up, set an alarm. So the next thing that I want you to consider is to put it in your calendar. And you're like, well, why would I do that, Jackie? I don't need to put it in my calendar. Well, if you put it in your calendar, then you see it as a trigger every day, right? You see it, if, even if it's the, you passed it this morning, you can see it in the calendar for tomorrow. And it just keeps reminding your mind every single time you look at your calendar. The other thing is, is many of us, again, I have an I, iPhone, iPad, whatever your choice is, but there's a way to set a timer for five minutes before, right? And then there's a timer for various times before, or after, et cetera. If your alarm doesn't get you up, you know, maybe your phone goes off like crazy town because you have a timer also on your calendar. Now, again, up to you, but those are definitely actions that help with success. Now, we don't want to pick all three of the M3 tools, right? We don't want to try to have a new munching tool, a new mindfulness tool, and a new, what did I say, munching, mindful, and movement. We don't want to have all three tools in all 15 minutes, because that's 45 minutes, right? It's not 15 minutes. So what you want to do is pick one. So we said we picked earlier, we picked munching, so you know, eating better fuel. So we're picking of one, and then just kind of brainstorm. What are the positive things that you can do to munch better, right? I could say eating cereal, which is better than nothing, eating a smoothie, having granola, having some yogurt, whatever that is, just take a little time to put out the things that you can do. So when you wake up early in the morning, you're trying to make this new habit, you, your brain actually has some information that it can reflect on. It knows all of these different things that you had suggested it could use to make the change. And then one of the best ways to kind of see if this is working for you or not, because it may be this isn't the right habit for you. But one of the things you want to reflect on in the mornings or in the afternoon, whenever you decide to journal or check in with yourself is, are you ready for the next habit? So 
did you munch every day, eat good smoothies or eat a protein shake every morning for 14 days and it made a great impact? Or um, great, so if it was good, then you're ready for the next habit. I like to also add into all of my reflections, what do I need to start doing? What do I need to stop doing? And what should I continue? So you might find that, yes, it's good that you eat now every morning, but when you have a smoothie, you feel great. And when you have a lot of protein, you feel like crap. Or if you drink a lot of coffee, you get jittery. But if you drink juice, you feel better. Whatever that is, it's unique for all of us. The other thing to consider for whatever it is you're doing, since the, one of the main points on this is to manage your energy, is to think about, well, did the movement increase or decrease my energy? Did the mindfulness increase or decrease my energy? And then, just like we did with the very first tool, consider, is this a cornerstone habit? If it is, if it's made a huge impact on your madness in the morning, if it's made a huge impact on any of your energy levels, then, and you say yes, then keep doing it. But what if you say no? Well, then stop doing it and go on to the next M. All of these things don't always work for all of the people, but the first three M's, right? Finding out good food for yourself or fuel for munching, deciding on meditation, prayer, mindfulness, whatever that is, or movement. These are some of the key areas that have the biggest impact for people. You may be a little bit different than that. So if these three don't work, then we can look at some other opportunities. So hopefully you found this episode of Practical Balance with Jackie Schwab, sponsored by The Diamond Factor, helpful, and you were able to take away some practical steps to regain some balance so you continue to crush it in your work, your life, and your career without neglecting yourself or your loved ones. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.